George Tiller was a target of anti-abortion extremists. His Wichita clinic was bombed in 1985, and then, at the age of 67, he was murdered at church. The death of Dr. Tiller leaves only four doctors in the country who are able to perform late-term abortions. It was absolutely no question in any of our minds that we were going to keep on doing this work. What really got me interested was when they started shooting doctors. I got five shots fired through the front windows of my office. Many, many times I felt so alone. How many times have you received threatening phone calls because of what I do? People call and I just hang up. When I walk out the door, I expect to be assassinated. Our goal is not merely to make abortion illegal, but to make it unthinkable. Late-term abortions, this is where everybody draws the line. They said I was an abomination and should be driven from the state. I immediately started getting death threats in the middle of the night. You don't give in because it only gets worse. If I just give up and stop doing anything after 20 weeks, some women may get desperate and do things on their own. If it's something that needs to be done. What drives women to seek a third trimester abortion? Unless people understand what's going on for the woman, it's impossible to support it. It's guilt no matter which way you go. Guilt if you go ahead and do what we're doing or bring him into this world and then he doesn't have any quality of life. You have choices, they all suck. Sometimes it's been hard for me to feel that I could continue. Of course you don't want an abortion. Nobody wants an abortion. She had a disease where she can't bend at her joints. He could be a stillborn. Mm -hmm. She's just too far mm -hmm. along and I can't help her. What's the right thing to do? What's really helping people? I just thought the other day, I can't retire, my God. <laughs> there aren't enough of us.